My name's Nell and I'm the author and illustrator of this book, My Brain is a Race Car. Now, being an author and illustrator means I wrote and drew the pictures of this book and my brain is also a race car too. So I thought we could read this book together to learn about what is a race car brain and what we need to do to look after it. And you might see that you have a race car brain too, or you have friends who have race car brains and why they do these extra little things to help look after themselves. So let's get started. My brain is a race car. I wrote this for Audrey. Brains are like cars that drive round and round a track, stopping at places to pick up information and then bring it back. My brain is a race car. It likes to drive extra fast. Sometimes, though, it forgets to stop and fully complete a task. A race car brain needs a bit of extra care to make sure all that information gets to here and there. Learning how to drive this race car is what we need to do. Then having this supercharged car will be really good for me and you. Race car brains work extra hard to go the extra mile. Driving fast all the time is definitely a race car's favourite style. But driving this, the car this way for too long can lead to overheating and burnout. If I don't look after my race car, then some not so good feelings come about. Those feelings are ones like frustration, which can really make me mad. I might say or do things which I don't mean, which then makes me feel bad. Pit stops are good to reset my feelings. They help me recharge and rest. Pit stops for race car brains are calming activities. You need to find what suits you best. My race car brain likes to do yoga and have mindful time. One stretches and relaxes the body and the other stretches and relaxes the mind. Sometimes I can't think clearly when my race car engine gets loud or being around lots of people, like in class when I'm in a big crowd. When the noise gets too much, finding a quiet space for five minutes or some sound muffling headphones can help me get back in it. Every now and then my race car can get confused or distracted and does not know where to go. What I do is take three big breaths and then take the next track slow. Sometimes my race car drives off down its own track, speeding away and not looking back. Going off on these tracks is what some people call getting in the flow, staying on it for hours at a time, never losing gusto. Other times my mind can get distracted and it might seem I don't care. But it's really hard to keep a race car still for a long time, not going anywhere. The fuel for our car comes from our food and sleep. What we choose affects how they run. Good fuel choices help cars stay on track, wait our turn and listen to everyone. When I'm going fast, Things can sometimes get lost or information forgotten. Forgetting and losing things isn't fun. In fact, it can make me feel quite rotten. What's happening is my race car goes so fast that sometimes it gets lost or misses my next stop. Having a routine for my day is like giving my race car a map so I can stay on track and come out on top. On the nights that it's hard to sleep, I tell each part of my body to rest and it's time to wind down. My race car might need some extra help to turn the engine off, like white noise or soothing sounds. Looking after this race car is an important thing to do because this race car brain is pretty special and it can do cool things too. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope you loved it and I hope it helps you understand about race car brains and how we look after them. Bye.